Thank you. Big Breakfast News, 7.05. Back to Johnny and Sarah. Thank you very much indeed, You're William. You're very welcome. Uh, how are you this morning? I'm all right. Feeling well. How are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Not too bad. Did you get up to anything exciting yesterday, or should we get on with the show? No, let's get on with the show. Oh, let's get on with the show. Good. <laughs> Good sentiment. Phil Gow, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Did you watch EastEnders last night? Smart. Judy Band to ask hey, you. Well, I, I went about it a different way last night. I watched first two minutes and last two minutes. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I find that's about all you need. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta tell you, you can pretty much guess the it's rest. It's true. I was like, right, Jamie's not dead. Oh, it all goes there. Why? Thank goodness end. the boy was all right. Yeah. Yeah. But what was great it was the first time I've ever seen. You know how small that cafe is, yeah? They still a bit of the tension. They still have looking around the cafe like, where is he? I'm like, come <laughs> on! You only fit eight people in the cafe. For some well, reason, there was a crowd. crowd in yeah. Not like anyway, <laughs> most important thing about it was is that Phil made it up with Cathy. Yeah, yeah? sort of. But did you notice? Here is you know arguably a couple who. who I haven't seen them have one good time together. No. And I follow their relationship from day one. They really, li literally, haven't had a moment. Good time. 1991, May the 20th. Well, it was a sunny afternoon. Oh, no. You say that, but afternoon. Phil was still wrestling with his alcohol problem. Oh, yeah. That's so nice. all the time there was that, there was that dark undercurrent. Yeah. But yesterday, they finally kissed, haven't they? He's gone back oh. in. He's given her a kiss. It's a great moment. The mouths are open. It's proper deep kissing. Yeah. yeah. You're thinking, fantastic. They're going to be high from that. They're going to feed. No. What's Cathy's first reaction? To suddenly give him an ultimatum and create an argument and a rift. Yeah. So they kiss and make up. Within a minute, they're squabbling. Now, Catherine, you said to me, that's marriage. <laughs> <laughs> and by doing so, you give yourself away, love. Uh, do you know what? We're going to have a look at uh, a clip of, of the Cathy Phil reunion. Here we go, Coxie. Have a look. Hey! I'll tell you something about your precious Mitchell family, shall I? Two weeks ago, your brother turned up on my doorstep. We slept together. So how much do you reckon family loyalty means to him? See, she went about it all wrong. Oh. I've learned if you're going to sleep with various members of one family, you keep it to yourself. <laughs> Classic error, isn't it? Classic error. She made out the textbook that error's coming, yeah, isn't it? Straight out there. Mouth ran away. Oh, she's, she's not right, I'm going to hurt him. I'm going to really hurt his feelings. Do you know what I think, though? Phil Mitchell, uh, and I think he's very well portrayed as well. I think Steve, Mc Steve McFadden, isn't yeah. he? Fantastic actor, but I think he's a, he's a big man. Grizzly. Right inside, I think he's a real big man. He never loses his rag. He's got Grant there. He feels loyal to this guy. He's an obvious hothead. I tell you what, he's a big man. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, no, right inside, though. You'd like him to be part of your family. He's a big man. He's a big... You know, he is, though. Right inside. Right in there. He's a big man. A man's only as big as the things make him mad. And he's a big man. <laughs> Do you know what? Actually, I've got so I'm talking of big men. Look, there's the big show. Look at him. Oh. He's a and there's The Rock. Now, these are two stars. These are big men, yeah? But not in the sense of big... They're big physically. I don't know if they're what they're... They're actually big men. They were so scary when they were on the show. They were sitting on either side of me, and I was just doing that. <laughs> I bet you were, Coxie. They're almost members of the same family, aren't they? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you, but the point about it is, is I got these signed to William, who doesn't actually exist, because I thought Laura, who uh, does the cleaning... Mm. And... Uh, <laughs> And I thought, I, uh, and, and I thought actually that, that Laura's son, who's actually called Michael, was called William. Oh. And Laura said, "Get this signed." I did get something signed for him, but these are the only two photos I got, which I've got signed to a bloke called William who doesn't exist. <laughs> so if your name's William mm. and you can prove it is William by sending in a photocopy of your passport or anything to prove you are William, and you prove you're a worldwide wrestling fan uh, uh, by answering the question, Stone Cold Steve Austin has a nickname other than Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Got a big nickname. But you know what? He has another nickname. He has another nickname, which is, I get, where it could well be a type of reptile. I'm not going to say any more. But if you can tell me what it is, and your name's William, <laughs> this is a competition going out to one viewer. <laughs> if you're there, 018195, all the ones, please. 018195, oh, all the twos. Yes. And, uh, or you can uh, use uh, the modern thing. Yeah. <laughs> Big Breakfast at yeah. channel4.com Channel 4. 4. using your modern. Thank you very much. And you could perhaps win those photos to William. Good luck. Could perhaps go to Prince William, my Well, yes. Oh. Well, yes. It's easy Help him forget it. about his love for the lady. Because yeah. yeah. he's a lady. on sport. Do you know what? Here's us yakking away. I'm looking for a remote controller, but it's all right, because you can actually use... Oh. Not really. <laughs> so you can, though. Do you know, watch the tell you. Look, I'll show you how the muffin works. What was it? You ready? This collects an animal part every week, and in 74 months, you can have your own fully functional cow. <laughs> and talking about cows, Ben, what would you think if I were to say to you, 
don't have a cow, man. I'd think you turned into a militant vegetarian. <laughs> no, 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 silly. Mm. You think of The Simpsons, of course, and this week sees the release of this, Bart Wars, to own on video. Luke, be a Jedi tonight. Just be a Jedi tonight. Do it for Yoda while we serve our guests a soda. Uh, and do it for Chewie and the Ewoks and all the other puppets. Great stuff, a singing Mark Hamill. It's not often you see something like that. And something else that isn't too common are wombles. Look, we've got to sing one of those too. What you do is you press his hand and he sings, what his nose swings. How do you stop this? How do you stop it? Oi, where's your manners? Were you brought up by monkeys? Well, somebody thinks he was. It's this chap on Living Proof tonight. If you look directly into their eyes, they're going to threaten you and he automatically in that situation is dropping his eyes down. Like he watches them, but he's not making the eye-to-eye -eye contact. And it's a very calm situation. Mm. Whereas you would expect um, any other child to come in and, and stare at them. Yeah, and so he just created an aggressive situation just then. And yet he immediately after doing that, put his head down. Now I can't wait for our next item. Bit of flying muffin there. Easy culture. Do you know what? Uh, that was the crew VC. Uh, who is in that crew VC? I can never recognise them. Okay. Now, once again, the road dog that is Richard Bacon. He is a road dog. He is the road dog. Uh, he's out there. He's at the curb. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Don't believe the blood! <laughs> the road dog! Um, anyway, Coxie. Really stupid. Yeah, that's moronic. Uh, he's out there in this beautiful country of ours. I bet, bet you're. Uh, hey. But. Exactly. Where is yeah. it? That is beautiful. He could be in there, Sarah. There's enough room. <laughs> uh, it's time to find out what he's up to today. Are, are you there, Richie? Richie Bacon. Richie! Certainly am. Certainly am. In a particularly beautiful part of the country today in Blackpool, everyone, which is uh, particularly exciting. Uh, have a look around. Some of the beautiful sights. It's quite dark and cold at the moment, but have a look. See some of the uh, glorious sights, including North Pier over there uh, in front of me or behind the caravan. There, look, uh, an early morning arcade. And above that, ladies and gentlemen... Richie, we know where Blackpool you are. Tower. We're familiar with Blackpool. Why are you there? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let me explain. Uh, covering a very exciting story today, actually. Uh, a lady, 29-year-old lady, she won a, uh, a competition uh, to go to Paris. Uh, instead of going to Paris, she swapped the holiday for a holiday in Blackpool. Uh, she's a big fan of Blackpool. She's been here 51 times. Uh, it's a story that we covered uh, in our newspaper review. Have a look at this. Shopper Sharon Davison turned down a free holiday in Paris. You know why? Why? To go to Blackpool. Yeah! yeah! Of course she did. Oh, she yeah. had to. You the lady. <laughs> you the big lady. lady. Sharon, everyone. But, thank you. Um, OK, so uh, she's actually still in bed at the moment. She's coming out to meet us later. We're going to talk to her. Uh, and what we're going to do today is we're going to celebrate Blackpool with a few people. Here, look, uh, the dancers. Langley's dancers are with us here, uh, in front of the sea there. Also, Miss Blackpool is here. And someone from the council. Uh, and also, some other big names coming down later. And not only that, uh, we are going to celebrate Blackpool. We're going to climax the outside broadcast with something big and something befitting of naughty seaside humour. That's later. For now, back to the house. <laughs> it's rude. Thanks very much, Richie. <laughs> Richie, where'd you, st where'd you stay last night? Uh, we stayed, uh, tell me what it's called again. What's it called? Glendowie. It's, it's a Glendowie hotel. It's actually all right. There was uh, a few small incidents. One of the crew members, Scott, he got a sign in his bathroom and he said, keep the shower curtain in the bath. Uh, he'd got uh, no shower curtain when he got in the bathroom, uh, no shower rail and no shower whatsoever. <laughs> uh, so, but, Quite an ironic little sign, that, then, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and in, uh, but in actual fact, to be fair, they looked after me. I got room service, I got the lot. Uh, no one else got any food except You got the me, lot? So, uh, got the lot. <laughs> I got the lot. <laughs> you, mean, you mean an That's extra pillow? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, because I got the lot... Uh, I refuse to name and shame them, so uh, I approve of, of this particular hotel in Blackpool. What was it again? Glendale. The Glen, the Glen thingy. Did you get a, did you get a, did you get a, a, a nice cooked breakfast this morning? Or was it just toast, cereal, the usual dreary procession of, uh, of breakfast foods? Yeah, just the usual one, really. Toast, cereal and orange. Uh, but fine, I mean, I found that filled us up, really. Yeah. But actually, last night, the hotel, uh, the restaurant showed at half eight, which is something that yeah. really annoys Shocking. me about... Sorry? Shocking. Really annoys me about hotels. Uh, so What's that, that's Rich? A, a black mark. 
Yeah. They all run restaurants at half eight. Yeah. The other thing that annoys me, Rich, is when they call something orange juice merely because it is orange <laughs> in colour. <laughs> uh, and actually, when you taste it, you think, I do not believe an orange has any relationship with this glass whatsoever. Yeah. You know the orange juice I mean? This stuff oh, it just yeah. doesn't taste like anything. Uh, and I think you should stop uh, doing, doing that, Richie. <laughs> <laughs> I think we had that very orange this morning. Good, good chat, we're just getting a bit, you know. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right, uh, still to come, we'll be chatting with our family, the hooligans from Portsmouth. Yay! Morning, Portsmouth hooligans. Good morning. morning. How are you this morning? Very Hi, well. Catherine, you've got a, a wind chair because I know your badge is spelt wrong again. I know. Oh, I shouldn't oh, have my E. But, the, but that's a very rare sort of Catherine. Mm. Well, I'm a very rare sort you of woman. You certainly are. Hey, you're you're a wonderful woman. Thank you for filling uh, the house with your warmth and love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening after the break, Sarah Cox? Um, well, after the break, I'll be getting down with the disco divas at our sister sledge. No! Oh, lost Joy. in music. Oh, uh, but now you're watching The Big Breakfast and nothing else will do. Well, no! 